right guys, welcome to week one through three of our training block. So we're gonna start off with our strength pieces being pause work. This is gonna be a three second pause at the bottom of your squat. And over the three weeks, we're gonna see our reps descending. So week one, we're gonna have that sets of seven, week two sets of five, and week three sets of three. What does this mean? That over the course of the next three weeks, you should definitely see weight increasing on that bar. Okay, be honest with that three second hold is that's gonna help build a lot of strength in that range of motion that we can apply toward later on in our programming. And our aerobic capacity, you're gonna see some varying intervals with this one, different time durations. And then for our general or our strength endurance pieces, these reminder are gonna be those higher intensity workouts. Generally, they're gonna fall into this 10 to 15 minute window. You're gonna see a variety of movements. We're gonna start off generally a little bit easier on side of things in regards to movement complexity. But keep in mind, look at those two versions of the workout, one tougher, one easier. We've got both what we call bilateral and unilateral work. Really, that just means using both arms and legs or one. That's gonna apply really nicely toward the bike and the riding this season. All right, guys, welcome to your first three week block. We're gonna be doing some pause squats. So if you're strong enough, this is gonna be coming from the rack and here's what it'll look like as we work through this one. So some simple things, guys, we're gonna focus on especially limiting range of motion to where we can keep position. So back being flat is gonna be the biggest piece and the biggest takeaway. As I reach my hips down and back, my back stays flat throughout the entire range and the pause is at the bottom. So for me, that's hip crease below my knee and then we'll drive up after that three second pause. Couple other things, watch my knees and my hips. My knees are gonna press out over my toes as I go down and my hips descend down and back. I'm keeping my eyes up, which is gonna help keep my chest up through that range of motion an honest three second pause with tension and we'll stand back up. All right guys, our three week cycle of bench press is also gonna be pause. So bench setup is gonna be important. We wanna have the bench low enough that ideally your feet can be on the ground. It's easy to rack and unrack the bar. So check it out. When I get set up, we're gonna be nerds on the bench real quick. We're gonna give you some thoughtful things here. So as we work through the bench, we're gonna have you guys set up in a position, feet are on the floor like we said, and you guys notice I'm gonna pinch my shoulder blades back so I'm not doing big range of motion with my shoulder here, I'm actually gonna squeeze them back under myself and that's gonna limit range of motion, but it's also gonna make me a whole lot stronger. About a thumb width outside the knurling on the bar, the smooth part, maybe a little wider depending on comfort. But as we move, you'll see the movements coming from my elbows here, reaching from the highest point on my chest with that three second pause and back up. I'm not moving from the shoulder, making the movement bigger and more excessive. I'm keeping the shoulders pinned down and back, reach down to the highest point on my chest for a three second pause just above it, pressing through the floor with my feet, and continuing for a set of seven, five, or three. All right, gang, our first three week block for aerobic capacity. A couple things to take into consideration here. In the programming, it's listed as easy, moderate, or hard. Another way to think of this is RPE, that stands for rate of perceived exertion. You'll see different scales out there, but we're gonna think of it in a set of one to 10 one being the very easiest and 10 being the very hardest. Another good way to think of this is adding a zero to that and thinking about that being your heart rate if it was on a scale of one to 20. But stick with that one to 10, okay? And we'll think of that as percent effort. So five, 50%, six, 60%, and so on. For the easy efforts, we're gonna think about that five to six. So 50 to 60%, maybe even 40%, really backing off depending on how you guys feel. Moderate, that would be more like the six, seven, eight range. So 60 to 80%, then hard would be that 90 to 100% effort. So as you go through this, take note of that and apply that well. When it says no rest between, stick with the no rest. And when it has rest between or easy pace, use that RPE as a way to have that pace for you. All right, gang, week one, we're gonna talk about some movements to take note of. One of those in the easier version is written as a ring row or an inverted row. Ring row is on rings. I'm gonna show you the bar because this is more likely for you to have. Don't walk into it this way. Bad news happens if you lean back and the bar is this way. So we're gonna walk in the other way around here and this is gonna give us a chance to work through this where you can have safety with the bar leaning back into the rack. We're just gonna walk under this till we get this position here. Thumbs wrapped around the bar, belly's tight. I'm gonna reach up. It's a great way to modify the pull up, allowing us to move through this range of motion. The higher the bar is, the easier that's gonna be for us. The second one is a dumbbell snatch. So a dumbbell snatch, this is gonna be really important for us to have our hips down so they're above our knees, but we also have our shoulder above our hip. So this set point is gonna allow for a flat back and have us creating a good solid position. It's a big range of motion cycling through 
and that's gonna mean our heart rate's gonna go up. So if we need to slow down and pause at the bottom, reset and catch my breath, it's a great approach for that movement. Couple of movements for us to pay attention to in week two. One of those is a Russian twist. So this is gonna be an ab exercise or a core exercise, generally on seated position. So from here, I like to do this with no weight because my back just requires that. We're gonna to try to raise our feet up off the ground and alternate back and forth, tapping the floor. If you wanna hold weight, you're absolutely welcome to do that. I'd suggest a light plate or a dumbbell. The second one is a dumbbell deadlift. So the reason why I wanna bring this attention is because some of us can't touch the floor with both heads of the dumbbell and keep a flat back, that's totally okay. And that just means you wanna limit the range of motion. So as I reach down, I'm gonna bow forward, hinging, shoulders are in front of my toes, and this is about as far as I can go, keeping my back flat like a tabletop here. If I go any further, I have to start to round, and that's no good. So we're gonna keep that back flat. If we can increase and have the head of the dumbbell touch the floor, that's great. But remember, this is a hinge pattern. We're bowing, not squatting the weight. You're gonna thank me for that in the coming weeks. All right, guys, week three movements to take note of. We're gonna be doing a goblet box step up. So I love these because we're gonna take the weight and hold it on the front half of the body. And it's just gonna sit like this as we do our box step up, belly stays tight. We're gonna try not to stick our butt up in the air first here. We keep our chest tall as we work through that range of motion. So that's gonna be our goblet box step up. Next one we're gonna work on is the push press. So push press, we're gonna actually use our legs to dip drive and get the weight overhead. So sometimes we're used to a strict press, but I am gonna have you use your legs with intention, drive the weight up. It's a shallow dip, knees are forward. I jump the weight off my shoulders. The other is gonna be a toes to bar. So a toes to bar, if you have a bar, we're gonna work through that and be reaching up and having our toes try to tap this bar here. As I go through that range, might start off with lower reps and as needed, can go higher. We have that capacity, toes can tap the bar. And then our last one's gonna be a double under. So for those of us that have the jump rope, we're feeling pretty good, it's a great movement. So singles here, double. It's rotating the rope twice under our feet. So a couple of things that can help, hands just stacked over the toes, rotating the rope from our wrist, and rope speed is your friend. 